Al Arabi Sport Club out of Qatar set to take on Rubisco Philippines in the third day of the 2021 Asian Men's Club Volleyball Championship in Nakhon Ratchasima in Thailand, which is north of Bangkok. Uh, you're looking at our first and second referees to call the action today. Eric Kipman alongside Neil Torres. Uh, Philippines coming into today's game 0-2 in the standings. Meanwhile, uh, Al Arabi Sport Club is 1-0. There are nine countries participating in the men's division as compared to only a few countries in the women's division and 10 teams all in all. So a lot more variety, a lot more competition that we're going to see here. And for those people unfamiliar with the tournament format, we will have two pools. They divide yung 10 teams into two pools and they will be going through a single round robin format before we head into our classification matches. That's right. Philippines will be in pool B. Um, we played AGMK yesterday out of Uzbekistan and we're playing another pool B team in the Al Arabi Sport Club of Qatar. After this game, you will be uh, matched up against Diamond Food, a club team from Thailand. Also in Pool B, Diamond Food is 1-1 one one in the standings after beating the Philippines and then losing to this team, Al Arabi Sport Club, yesterday. There's your starting lineup. Surprisingly, Kupkovic will be coming off the bench. Uh, star player, the leading scorer of Al Arabi Sport Club. There is uh, their head coach, Juan Manuel Quichelio out of Argentina. Meanwhile, you're looking at uh, Rebisco Philippines and their starting lineup. Bugawan will be a starter today. He came off the bench yesterday. Malabunga in the starting lineup. Alfavara is still in the starting lineup. Retamar also in the starting lineup. So far, it's only Bugawan, who's a uh, new guy inserted from uh, coming off the bench yesterday. Manuel Somanguid will also be starting in that libero position for Coach Dan Bellin Sonurin and Team Rebisco Philippines. So a tall order for Rebisco Philippines, but what I like about the game of the Filipinos so far, they're getting better and better. Their first game they shot, or their efficiency was at 38%. It went up to 50% going up against AGMK yesterday. And people were curious about kung paano nila gagawin yung performance without our top two scorers. But in that previous game, we saw that everybody could actually chip in. And on your screens is the top scorer for Team Rebesco Philippines, Ja Omandal attacking at 53% wow. in terms of efficiency. 19 points for this youngster for Rebesco. And also, Philippines, 27 unforced errors in their first game, which was Friday. And then yesterday was down to 24. Let's see if we can play a lot better and be more careful with the ball against Al Arabi Sport Club. Set number one just about to get underway. In the meantime, though, if you want to find out 58% team efficiency for Al Arabi Sport Club, they had six service aces, 11 blocks, and four players in double digits against Diamond Food. And we're off in set number one. Ratamar sending it right away to Malabunga. And immediately making an impact is John Chigbo. Yeah, he's the 6'7 middle blocker. And that's what you were saying, the height advantage definitely with the Qatar Slope team. Chigbo played in the 2010 and 2014 Asian Games, had 10 points for Al Arabi. There is a block against the Guzman. Setters will be playing a very crucial role in this match as they are the ones who find and utilize the smallest of cracks in the defense of their opponents. And for the Bisco Philippines, they know that they're at a disadvantage when it comes to height, so they have to be able to put that coverage behind their attackers if they want to keep that rally alive. So obviously a very tall order for defense and for offense. Ratamar will have to find a way to fool these blockers. Chigbo blocking Umandal. There's a one-handed set by Almendras, and a tip finally gets Rubisco on the board here in set number one. You'll also notice that in the men's game, you don't get a lot of combination plays from the middle. Must basic, but it's a faster gameplay here compared to the women. 
and you'll see a lot of back throw attacks utilized by all of the teams. Yeah. Nothing against the women's game, obviously, but there's a lot more, a higher level of athleticism in the men's game because of you know, a lot of the jumping, the defensive plays, obviously. Sumangid with the up, back row attack there from Sumandal. Yes! Raul Mandal, 22 years old, leading the offense for the Fisco Philippines. This is a good start for the men in red. Good coverage here, giving Mandal an opportunity from the back row. So two straight points for the Fisco Philippines as we, start, we tie the game here in set number one. Out of USD, Umandal serving. That's outside. We have to be able to maximize the absence of the best player for Al Arabi, Kupkovic. This is the time to score as many points as you can. Juma Faraj, the team captain, a former national team player as well. That's Al Papara. Scoring for Ribisco. Papara coming off a seven point performance. Good ball distribution so far from Betamar. Engaging that middle blocker from Qatar, leaving Al Papara with a single block. Three all. Gorgeous back there. That is from Renan Ribeiro out of. Brazil. You'll definitely see a lot of men jumping. They, they will yeah. try their best to get single blocks. To get a higher chance of scoring off the offense. Nice serve from Chikbo. Off speed attack there. Ribeiro one more time. Alfafara. What a solid roof there against Mark Alfafara. Great blocking from Al Arabi. It's just solid at the net. So far, a couple of blocks against Rubisco Philippines for Al Arabi Sport Club. And if you know you have a lot of tall blockers in front of you, you have to be able to choose your angles well. And tatanchahin mo din yung power na ilalagay mo. Mm -hmm. That is on the line as Al Arabi Sport Club with a service ace. They had six service aces in their last game. So the, this is a strong point for Al Arabi. It was also a smart zone to target. They, I, it looks like they want to take Omandal out of that fast row attack. Wrong approach, results in a free ball and a combination play. Sumangid was right there, picking it up. Back row attack. And Umandal yet again, putting Rebisco Philippines on top by one. Umandal getting back a point off of that service is Good dig from Sumangid also. An adjustment in the scoring, there was an error from Nakhon Ratchazima, so it's 6-4, Al Arabi Sport Club. But a block by the Philippines there put, makes this a one-point game. One-point timing for J.P. Bugawan. Former FEU Tamarao, chance to tie the game again. Solid attack from Felipe Bandero, another Brazilian in the lineup, had 16 points in the last game. Felipe just hitting it at the top of the block. Bandero serving 7 5, set number one.
Easy over for Nabisco Philippines. They get lucky. They get it back the same way. Attack in the middle by Bugawan is a point. That should be a sure point when you are given a chance for your opportunity to run your counter attack. Filipinos so far making the most out of the opportunities they're getting here in set number one, keeping it a close match. Just have to tighten their defense a little bit more to overcome this deficit. But they're just down by one. So far, so good for the Bisco Philippines. Nice serve for Alpafara, but better reception there. Combination play. Good coverage. Back row, Alpafara, and a denial in the middle. Also, there was some contact between two Qataris. Everybody's okay, though. That takes us to our first technical timeout, the Al Arabi Sport Club. Up by 2 8 6 here. As you take a look at contact there between Ibrahim and uh, Bobby Borislav. So 10 minutes in, Neil, and it's just a two-point game. What are the things Rubisco has been doing good? Well, offensively, I, I say this, uh, kahit kanina, kaya naman sumabay, it's a matter of getting good touches on the block, receiving well, passing the ball accurately to Joshua Retamar. So he can effectively choose his attackers well. There's a dunk by Umandal as Rubisco makes it a one-point game. As I said, so far, Joshua Omandal has been pouring out the points for the Bisco Philippines. Another look at the chance ball and the finish. Excellent decision making by Omandal in midair, just changing it up. Saw the two blockers. Obviously, that's one of the strengths of Qatar. So why not attempt a dump? Which he was successful, got a kill. Not a good first ball. An attempt to push another block. Two back-to-back -back great plays for Rubisco and we tie the game at eight. This time that was on Kim Malabunga. Two blocks already for Rubisco Philippines in this ball game. But Juma Faraj unable to get it across with a push against Malabunga and the defense at the net. Chance to take the lead for Rubisco Philippines. Bandero, yes! Felipe Bandero with a kill. You're a step second late, a millisecond late. Mehirapan Katalaga to close out. And that was a huge gap in the yeah. middle of the blockers of Rebisco. And I feel like you see Bandero jump. Feels like, I mean, just a wide body. Feels like there's a lot more power than the usual for an attacker with his kind of physique. Mandal is blocked. Retamar to the middle. Back-to-back -back blocks against Rubisco. Mandal tries again. Check ball. Rubisco scores. 
that's what you have to do when you try to use all your power to get through that block and it doesn't work. You use the hand to your advantage. There it is. Great play by Umandal. Off the left hand of the blocker. Nine all, set number one. Philippines keeping it a close game against Qatar. Retamar is serving. Cross court attack is good for Faraj. One of the key factors that can give Ribisco a victory is area blocking and area defense. That was intentional. They really left out that cross court angle for Manuel Sumangid. He just wasn't able to get it. Bulgarian Bobby Borislav serving for Al Arabi. Umandal is blocked. Although points given to Rabisco as it probably hit the antenna before dropping onto the floor. I don't know if we're going to get a better look at that last sequence. Yep. They, they can call a challenge, but I think they will save that for yeah. later. So 10 all, set number one. Combination play, back row attack is good. Al Arabi using their middle blocker as a decoy to pave the way for that powerful type attack. That was Brazilian Renan Ribeiro. Scores from the back row. You get to notice that sometimes primary option <laughs> yung back, back row, row in the men's game compared to the spikers in the front line. Why is that? For, for viewers wondering as Al Arabi scores. Well, for attackers, the high leapers, they get a wider angle. Mas marami kang pwedeng puntahan and you can utilize your power well from the back row. There's a block by Ribeiro. I don't know if it's just me, Neil, but Al Arabi seems th these guys are look too buff for the average <laughs> for the average volleyball player, if you know what I mean. And they're just so chill. And then I say with years of experience, when you take a look at their average age, you just know that they've been through a lot of international competitions already compared to Rebesco. Na medyo mababa yung uh, age range natin. But nevertheless, we get the advantage that time around the block. I guess Felipe. Bandero take another look here. A uh, solo block by Alfafara. Good timing for Alfafara. Rebesco is keeping it close. Yeah. And they, I think they forced uh, Al Arabi to call a timeout here. One point game, 12 11. I'm sure Coach Dante Elusnurin likes what he sees so far from Rebisco Philippines. Yesterday, he was able to utilize all the players in that four set defeat against Uzbekistan. So I think right now, this rotation is working, but later on, we can also inject more players to just give it a different uh, flavor. You're looking at Juan Manuel Kicelio of Argentina, the head coach. We're talking to John Chigbo. There's Felipe Bandero. Meanwhile, Joshua Mandar and the rest of Rubisco Philippines so far making it a close game. So it's 13-10. Official score right now in favor of Al Arabi Sport Club. Faraj. Juma Faraj, good serve, better received from Alpha Farah, and a super quick there from Malabunga. That's the tempo that they should always get that zero tempo, tempo play on the quick hit. Great timing. Malabunga, one of our tallest players on the floor at 6'6". Six, six. Bandero scores again. Ganun talaga eh, nagkakatalo sa labanan ng single block. When you're able to set up a double or a three-man block, 
it gives you a higher chance of getting a point. Pero pag single block, halos ano na eh, puntos na mm. for any team. So, so far, Borislav doing an excellent job keeping everybody involved for Al Arabi. Another quick attempt there. Bugawan is blocked as Al Arabi trying to pull away here in set number one. Looks like they were able to read the decision making of Joshua Retamar. First few sequences, Mahanaga observe pa yung Al Arabi, but now they know the tendencies of the setter. John Chigbo getting ready to serve. Thirty-two years old. Fifteen eleven and a free point for the Bisco Philippines. get it any way we want it or any way we can get it these free points from Al Arabi in time to Guzman serving 12 15 set number one unfortunately we give it right back 16 12 Al Arabi leading by four against Rubisco Philippines set number one Rebisco Philippines uh, trying to keep in step, but right now Al Arabi Sport Club deal is starting to pull away. What are the things we can do to keep it close? At this point, we can't really can't afford to give unforced errors off the service line because we're down by four already. And if you're going to give easy points to Al Arabi, he will really pounce on that opportunity. Felipe Bandero, one of the leading scorers of Al Arabi Sport Club. Service just on the line, says the line judge. They give. They can use the challenge. Yeah. Take another look here. There is there is a challenge. That's very close though. Philippines challenges the official call, which is in. Well, the challenge though is a footfall. Although I did notice that that might have been the better thing to contest instead of where the ball fell. Interesting choice of challenge for Rebisco Philippines. They actually thought they would be challenging if that ball went in or out. It did seem like he did step on the line on the approach from the service area. Close, but not close enough. So no success. Uh, Failed challenge for Rubisco Philippines. As Al Arabi Sport Club now really starting to pull away here. Going to be 17 11. Just make that 17 12 in favor of Al Arabi Sport Club. Another beautiful serve from Felipe Bandero. When you're receiving a powerful uh, jump serve, your form should always be on point. Medyo alanganin na yung form ni Manuel Solanget that time. And that ball went out of control. Rebisco needs one good reception to put a stop to the run of Al Arabi. So two straight service aces for Al Arabi Sport Club after the technical timeout. Much better received right there. But the setup, not quite. 
That's just wide. Is there a check ball? Nope. Finally, we stopped that mini run by Al Arabi. That was definitely an uh, out of bounds play, but another challenge will be called this time for the Qatar club team. Challenging a foot fault in the middle. They are allowed a couple of challenges per set. Philippines 0-2 coming into today's game, losing back-to-back -back matches, one against Sirjan Fulad, Iranian, and then AGMK of Uzbekistan. That was Friday and Saturday night. Meantime, Qatar Al Arabi Sport Club out of Qatar. His second game of the tournament they won yesterday against uh, Diamond Food of Thailand in three sets. So far, one of the leading scorers today Felipe Bandero talking to their setter Bobby Borislav. We still haven't seen Kopkovic play in this Not yet. ball game. So there's the challenge, and it was uh, not a successful one for Qatar. So Philippines, they retain the point, although they still have their work cut out for them here in set number one. Thirteen serving eighteen. Mark Alfafara. It's wide. Well, you, you just mentioned this, right? I want to ask you after the second technical timeout, one of the things they have to concentrate on, and so far, um, they haven't really been able to solve that issue. Based on my count, we gave away three unforced errors off that service line and two missed receptions already. So, Rebisco Philippines has to focus on serve receive. Ratamar sets it up. Umandal, yes! Much needed. Point for the Disco Philippines. Five point game here in set number one. Joshua Umandal challenging the bigs. Block off the hands of Ibrahim Ibrahim. There he is. Bandero off speed hit. Ratamar back set. There's a push from Omandal. There's a net violation going to be called on Al Arabi. I think it's going to be on Borislav, the setter. There he is. Lucky break also for your disco. The Omandal didn't get a proper approach on that hit. So two straight points for the Bisco Philippines here in set number one. Now just a four-point game after being down by six. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, where they dump. No defender seen in that first possession for the disco. Six, seven is Ibrahim. That's how tall this kid is. Not really one of the oldest guys actually in the team, but 36 years old. Not really a kid. One of the leading scorers of Al Arabi or for Qatar, uh, when they played the 2020 Tokyo Olympics qualifying matches. Fortunately for him, and fortunately for us, the service error for Ibrahim. So four point game, set number one. And Ibrahim has three attackers in the front row. The Guzman, Malabunga, and Omandal. Retamar can choose from any of those guys. He's serving now. 1620 that's just outside and again service errors hurting Rubisco Philippines. Fourth service error for Rubisco. Four points. That's roughly the deficit we're facing right now. So if we could have tightened up our service in this game, could have been a much closer match. Ja uh, Lopez is in the game, Jesse Lopez. The game for the first time, and there he sets up Umandan, who scores. 
one of the veteran setters for the Let's Go Philippines. We actually have three in that roster. We have Retamar, Lopez, and Ish Polvorasa. Mm -hmm. Lopez, the elder statesman here, 35 years old. Played for FEU, if I remember it correctly. Mandal, the serve. Ooh. Another missed hit off the service line for Rubisco. Which brings back the lead to five for Al Arabi. Closest was four. Biggest was six. Yuma Faraj. Malabunga. That was returned. Malabunga tries again. Borislav to Ribeiro, and Ribeiro scores! Looking right, getting down the line. Lead back to six for Al Arabi Sport Club. What an effort there by Faraj though on the coverage. Here's Ribeiro. Huge hole in that zone one. And the Bisco Philippines suing for time here in set number one. Nagsimula na din magpasok ng ibang tao si Coach Dan Alin Sunurin for the Bisco Philippines. Later on in the second set, we might see a different roster start for this club team. Two points away from closing set number one out, Al Arabi Sport Club, Juma Faraj getting ready to serve. Outside, so we get a little bit of a break there. But still a long way to go for Abisco Philippines if we are to come back here in set number one. Kim Malabunga. Borislav setting up the big man John Chigbo for the kill and Al Arabi is at set point. Looks like Al Arabi is all about simplicity and excellent execution. Well, they get a good first ball, they set up the big man and he delivers. Omar Hisham is, in, uh, is on the floor, we're seeing him for the first time. 34 year old, 6'4" middle blocker for Al Arabi. Lopez will set it up. A little too low for Al Fafara. Borislav, that was actually over set. And a point for De Guzman. Dante De Guzman getting his first point off the ball game off that ad lib. Just enough power to get it off the block. So one set point save. Still five more for Al Arabi. Filipinos, Rubisco Philippines, they need to play perfect volleyball right now. Borislav setting it up and an easy put away there for Ibrahim. Great setting, excellent serving, and obviously a few errors especially uh, from the service area for Rubisco Philippines. That is how you can summarize set number one, Neil. It's, it's, it has been the errors of Rubisco Philippines that gave that lead to Al Arabi, and that's 25-19 for the Qatar club team. Take a look at some of the highlights of the first set. We actually kept it close, especially in the first part. Yeah, we kept it close, but then again, when we started to give away free points, tapos nung nagkaroon na tayo ng maraming buta sa depensa natin, that was the time na nag-pull away yung Al Arabi. Nothing spectacular. Uh, they were giving out basic A-quick and B-quick plays, then back row attacks and attacks from the wings. But now, coming into the second set, Ribesco Philippines has to really uh, tighten up their defense. 
uh, take a look at that. Three aces against the, the zero of Ribesco Philippines. We can keep in step in, in the attacking department. And five blocks, five big blocks for the Qatar team against the single one of Ribisco. And the result, 25-19 in favor of Al Arabi Sport Club versus Ribisco Philippines. Set number two coming up when we return. Back to our coverage on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Good evening, Philippines. You're watching the 2021 Asian Men's Club Volleyball Championship from Terminal 21 Korat in Nakhon Ratchasima in Thailand, which is about 260 kilometers northeast of Bangkok. And this is Al Arabi Sport Club from Qatar. And right now they have set number one in their pocket, 25-19 versus Rubisco Philippines. Now we see a different roster starting out for the Bisco Philippines. I see Ish Polvorosa, and I think I also see Isai Marasigan starting out. Let's see if uh, some fresh legs and a different perspective can give the Philippines a different kind of outcome in set number two. Team captain John Dick de Guzman coming off a three-point performance in their loss versus AGMK of Uzbekistan. There's Kim Malabunga on your screens. Meantime, the team captain Juma Faraj speaks Arabic, English, and French. One of the oldest players at 36 years old. There's Alfa Farah, and you mentioned Ispol Borosa out of uh, the Blue Eagles program in the ballgame for the first time. Different uh, flavor for the best coach. Ispol Borosa is known for his low fast setting compared to the isolation place of Rosa Repamar. You get to see the different systems incorporated in this Rebesco Philippine squad. Set number two just underway. Borislav tipping it across for Al Arabi. Here comes Umandal. Yes! Philippines on the board first here in set number two. He has been the primary option for our setters. And now that he's playing really well, the other teammates also have to uh, score more points to help their cause to win the second set. Borislav setting it up. Faraj is blocked at the net. Borislav this time back set to Bandero. Bandero will put Al Arabi on the board. One all, set number two. As we saw in the first set, they can keep the score tight, but have to be able to amp up the firepower as you enter the midpoint or the tail end of that set. Bobby Borislav serving. He's the setter, 29 years old. Solid block. It goes outside, though. Point for the Guzman and Rubisco. But we are a shorter team in terms of height, you can definitely uh, expect a lot of off-the-block hits from our spikers. Joshua Umandal. Borislav setting it up. They go to the middle. That's Chigbo. Off-speed there from attempt. From the Guzman. Did not go across the net. Medyo malayo yung naging setup nila. And hindi natansya ng tama ni John Vick yung approach niya for that one. Unforced errors. We mentioned that was uh, that was key in our loss in the first set. Let's see if we can keep that number down here in set number two. Good receive there by Sumangit. Back row attack. 
is outside, it seems, for Umandal. Sadam and Eagle, you saw that there were no blockers for that pipe attack. Again, unforced errors hurting the Philippines, or at least Rubisco. Al Arabi now up by one. Good receive by Umandal. And Manabuma punishes the defenders at the net. Polvarosa engaging all the attackers. Excellent setup by Polvarosa to Malabunga, who's serving now. Three all, set number two. Not a good first ball. Easy put away for JP Bugawan. And Rivisco on top, 4 3. That's what you get if you put your serve in. Maram pang scenario ang pwede mangyari. You can force the opponent to make a misreception to give you a gift mm -hmm. that can translate to an instant point for your squad. Badero. Good one handed dig there from Umandal Alfafara off speed. Borislav sending it to the middle. The big man sends it outside. There, uh, they say there's a check ball. There is. Chikbo gets the point, and Al Arabi is tied for all with Rubisco at set number two. Ang ganda lang talaga ng timing ng Al Arabi eh, when they set up their quick hits, even the set to the pins. Kadalasan single block. Yeah. John Chikbo serving for all. Ball still alive. Oh, oh excellent. Saved there by Bandero and the finish by Ibrahim. Ibrahim made sure that that save from his teammate won't be wasted. Wow. Look at that. Picture perfect action from Al Arabi that time around. Great save, great finish, which is why they're up by one. Five serving four. Combination play, and Al Papara knocks it in. Al Papara apologizing to the Kari player for potentially hitting him on the way down. Well, no harm, no foul. Five all, set number two. Bandero, yes! Same play, same result. Wow. For Al Arabi. Felipe Bandero is something else. I mean, he's racked up a significant amount of experience. Played with 14 clubs, including Brazil, Italy, Switzerland, Poland, South Korea, and Qatar. He might be hitting at, what, a 60%? <laughs> efficient 60 to 70%. And serving maybe higher than that. <laughs> Another service ace for Bandero. Two-point lead for Al Arabi. He's got a very uncanny routine when he serves, but it's effective. Back to back service aces for Al Arabi. Same target, same yep. result. Two service aces, three point lead. Al Arabi 8 5 versus Rubisco Philippines in our first technical timeout, set number two.
Good evening, Philippines, and welcome back to our coverage on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Uh, Felipe Bandero right now leading Al uh, Arabi Sport Club from Qatar in scoring and in serving, and they are up, sitting on a three-point lead here in set number two. The dig, uh, not good enough though. Finally, uh, Rabisco Philippines breaking that run of Al Arabi. And Omandal also has to acknowledge that he is being targeted at that service line. So if you know that the ball is coming to you, you have to be able to establish your feet to get a proper form on that uh, on the services. Two-point game. Mark Alfafara, 27 years old, serving for Ribisco. Borislav setting it up for Ribiero. Combination play, a tip there is good for the Guzman. Almost mistimed that hit, but he got a little bit of help from the tape of the net, yeah. but we'll take it. Rebisco will get that point. So one point game here. Seven serving eight, set number two, a chance to tie for Rebisco. Love to Ribiero. Great position there for Alfa Para for the dig. Comandal over received by Bandero. Rebisco on the attack. Combination play. Comandal with a kill. And the game is tied at eight. It's for Borosa using his middle blockers as a decoy. Very effective to get Joshua Comandal with a single, single block. So three straight points for Rebisco, and we tie the game at eight all. Alfafara looking for the lead. Borislav setting it up for Ibrahim. Attack. No check ball, says our first referee, so that Run stops at three for the Philippines, although there is a challenge here from the coaching staff of Rubisco. Some of the players of Rubisco are, are confident that there was a check ball, but let's check. Based on experience, uh, how much is how much how accurate are is is being confident, Neil? Sometimes din kasi ng balik ng bola, so you you really can't tell. Sometimes it's, it seems like na nahawakan ng block. <laughs> Because if it's just based on confidence, yeah. <laughs> I've seen so many middle blockers saying there's a touch, there's a touch. We need to check. Uh, oh, but oh, there is. There is a touch. So that point will go to Ribisco. Good challenge. That time run, 100 out of 100 <laughs> for Ribisco. The run continues. That's a four point run now for Ribisco, Neil. Sometimes confidence pays off. <laughs> <laughs> so Ribisco on top, 9-8. Set number two. Set up for Bandero. Off the block of Umandal. Ball is still alive. Great effort. Just no third touch for Rubisco Philippines. So that run ends officially at four points. And uh, the game's tied at nine. These are, uh, these are the minor miscommunication errors that they have to work on because that was a good block touch mm -hmm. and they still had a chance to set up their defense if they were able to put that ball over. So the defense of Rubisco will be tested here. You gotta get a good receive to keep that momentum. Renan Ribeiro out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Back row attack here. Bandero with a good first ball. Barrage. Yes. Nobody defending that zone one hit. Against three blockers, Juma Farage still finds an opening. That says a lot about their experience. That's experience. I was about to say, that's experience for you. At 36 years old, haven't played in since he's been playing since the 2010 wow. Asian Games. So that's 11 years of experience for you. You can just sense that 
accurate calculation yeah. every time they go for their attacks. Umandal. Good dig from Ribeiro. Haraj will try. Nope. That was an over-receive. Bandero. Yes. Felipe Bandero makes it a two-point lead for Al Arabi. When you give an easy ball to Al Arabi, yeah. you expect a hard hitting attacker. There's a timeout here by Rabisco Philippines. There are some sequences dito sa side ng Rebisco na parang minamadali yung pagbalik ng bola. And uh, during these types of games, you have to maximize all the three touches that you can get. Well, it's still a close game. It's a two-point deficit against Rebisco. And Coach Dante Alinsonur, and I'm sure that's what he's pointing out as well it's it's just a two-point game Don't, let's not this let's not allow this get away from us you can just see the body language for both of these teams for Ibisco they know that they can snatch a set and for Al Arabi they know that they have to respect their opponents Renani Ribeiro getting ready to serve 11-9, set number two. Al Arabi with one set in the bag, winning the first set against Rubisco. Combination play, yes! Perfect sequence for Rubisco. Excellent receive from Sumangid. Good set from Ishpol Varosa, and what a finish from Jao Mandan. Polvorosa, a five-time best setter. Here That's right. Also in our country. Seasons 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80 of the UAAP. In the meantime, though, a kill by Ibrahim. Thirty-six-year-old. Ibrahim stands 6 7. Had four points against Diamond Foods or Diamond Food of Thailand. Oh, what a serve. Is that outside? That was on I think the it's line. In. It's in. What a serve. Just on the line. This clips the line. Ibrahim. Makes it a three-point lead for Al Arabi. Pag ganyan kabilis yung call from the serve judgment call na lang papairali ng mga players eh. I mean the power and the trajectory of the ball from that angle at 6-7, jumping 6-7, there's a block. Ooh! Malabunga gonna be called for a lift there. He's uh, second-guessed himself. I didn't know if he was going to put it over already or going to set that one for Zhao. And right on cue, pretty much the same point in set number one. Al Arabi starting to pull away. They have a four point lead here, their biggest of the set. Another combination play. Borislav, there's a block against Chigbo. Well, Vorosa setting up Umandal again. Borislav with a block. Back to Umandal. Yes! Ja Umandal recognizing the shorter blocker between the two from Al Arabi, getting that point back for the Disco Philippines. Yeah, went through the blocker, Boris, or Bobby Boris Love. <laughs> and you can see the frustration yeah. on the face of the center of the Qatar club. So Rabisco trying to turn it around before it. Uh, the lead becomes insurmountable. Three-point deficit, 11-14 here in set number two. Faraj, yes! Another clean hit for Al Arabi. And it's just amazing the angles and, and the lines you see Al Arabi make 
offensively. Bobby Borislav, the center, serving. That's outside. A break for Rabisco Philippines. We're still in it. And lucky for us, Al Arabi with some miscues in their game. They're not as tight as they were in the first set. Not a lot of service errors in set number one. They have a few here in set number two, giving us a close match and some free points. Most of, most of their servers then papunta sa jump serve, powerful jump serve. Yeah. Iilan din yung, iilan lang yung float serves eh. There's a free ball for Rebisco. Sumangid. Straight away to Alpha Para, who is blocked at the net. That was that play easily telegraphed by the defense. Alpha not hitting it at that peak. As he gets blocked by Al Arabi, and the coverage wasn't there. And that's a block of the set from PLDT home. Four points lead for Al Arabi, 16 12 against Rabisco here in set number two. Coming to you from Terminal 21 Korat in Nakhon Ratchasima for the 2021 Asian Men's Club Volleyball Championship. Eric Tipan with Neil Flores. And we're watching Al Arabi Sport Club out of Qatar taking on Rabisco Philippines here in set number two. We are down one set to nothing. And this is a four point deficit in the second set. Renan Riviero is knocking it in. Again, right, right on the line for Al Arabi. And that's harder to defend those balls na sakto lang sa linya. Yeah. Team captain Juma Faraj. With a float serve. Five point lead. Another block, single man block there by John Chigbo. On the contact for Jao Mandal. Perfectly read by Al Arabi. Now a six point advantage right away for Al Arabi. And a free ball, easy put away for Riviero. Lead is seven. So that's three straight points after the technical timeout. That forces Coach Dante Elunzururin of Rubisco Philippines to call a timeout. I just noticed that during the midpoint of every set, dito medyo kumakalas yung yeah. reception ng Rebesco Philippines. At dito tayo napapag-iwanan ng Al-Arabi. Now it's a seven-point deficit. What do you think, Coach Dante and Lensunurin, telling the boys, especially like what you said, in the middle of this set, what happens and what they should fix? Most probably, hindi lang yan si Coach Dante ng one stop to get their momentum back. Again, in volleyball, that first ball is the most crucial pass to give to your setter. Kasi dyan iikot yung opensa nyo eh. Renan Ribiero responsible for the last couple of points for Al Arabi. It was on your screens earlier, right now, Kim Malabunga. And this is Juma Faraj, team captain for Al Arabi, now leading by seven. Three straight points after the technical timeout. Oh, another easy giveaway for Rabisco Philippines. That's four straight points after the technical timeout. Four unanswered points for Al Arabi. I think there was a net violation. Well, we get oh, a break. Is it? Yeah, yes. Yeah. But we give it right back. 
on the service error of Kim Malabunga. These are the non-negotiables when you're down by as much as seven points against the powerhouse team. So when you give away um, unforced errors off that line, parang uh, medyo walang kalaban laban tayo dun eh. Lead is back to seven. Twenty serving thirteen. Good dig. Al Arabi. Al Papara. There is a whistle on the play. A net violation against Al Arabi. Now we're capitalizing on the unforced errors of Al Arabi. Two net violations called on their players. No contest by Al Arabi. So two straight points for Rabisco Philippines, but we're still looking at a six point deficit here. Borislav setting up Bandero. Polvorosa, back row attack to Mandal. Yes! Right on the number of the jersey of uh, Paraj. What a cannon, no? Yeah. An attack. Take a look here. Mandal. There's no stopping this youngster. What a great talent out of the USD program. So that's three straight points for Rabisco Philippines. And he has emerged as the top scorer for Rabisco in the absence of Bagunas and Espejo. Bandero is blocked. The uh, ball goes outside, so that three-point run is stopped by this attack of Felipe Bandero. You see Mark Alpapara. <laughs> he knew he had, at least he had contact with the ball and could have done a better job keeping it alive. Yeah, looking, looking at it at the past positive light, <laughs> we had a touch on it. Yep. So it's still better than giving him a clean hit. Lopez is in the game setting it up for Rabisco Philippines. That goes, I think, outside from Mark, Mark Alpapara, so... Lead is back to seven for Al Arabi. Take a look here. And again, Felipe Bandero, one of the best servers of Al Arabi. Bojan Duki, number 12, is in the game for the first time for Al Arabi. We saw him on the screens earlier. Uh, right now, back-to-back -back points for Al Arabi on the serve of Bandero. When we take a look at the statistics later on, you'll get to see uh, that disparity for sure in the serving department. Yeah. Rubisco Philippines, no service aces in the loss versus MGM AGMK. Oof. What a dig, though, for Sumangid. Paraj keeping it alive. Borislav. And Bojan Duki with a touch and a point. And even a three-man block from Rubisco couldn't stop that hit from Duki. Bojan Duki out of, is out of Montenegro. Another foreign player for this Qatari club. Set point. This is nine set points for Al Arabi. Here's that routine of Felipe Bandero. Much softer serve. Still same result for Felipe Bandero. And Al Arabi puts set number two in the pocket. We're so used to receiving hard, <laughs> hard jump serves, but that time yung mga mas mahina hindi tayo naging prepared. Now we're down by two sets to love. That's 25-15 in favor of Al Arabi. We kept it close, and like what we said, it pretty much got away from Rubisco Philippines. Roughly the same point as in set number one. Yeah, it was definitely the same at first. We even had a one-point lead yeah. early on. And then when they started to crack our reception open, that was their golden opportunity to establish that six or seven-point lead. Ishpol Porosa was the starting center in set number two. He made a difference. And 
and um, like what you said, you know, he had a lead at one point in set number two. Uh, Umandal uh, and Ugawan were involved offensively along with Kim Malabunga, but uh, again, middle point of set number two, Al Arabi started to pull away mostly from, again, reception errors from Rabisco Philippines and the service in the end by Felipe Bandero. And as expected, look at that. Five service aces compared to the zero of Rebesco. Again, hindi naman tayo nalalayo in terms of attacks. But the opponent's errors, dyan din medyo marami. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of those off the service line and off the first ball. So coming into this third set, I am hoping to see more rotations when it comes to the attackers. Because so far, mga scepters yung pinapaikot ni Coach Dante. 25-19, 25-15, Rebisco Philippines down two sets to nothing against Al Arabi Sport Club. Good evening, volleyball fans, and welcome to our coverage on One Sports and One Sports Plus. You're watching Al Arabi Sport Club out of Qatar taking on Rubisco Philippines at Terminal 21 Korat in Nakhon Ratchasima. This is the 2021 Asian Men's Club Volleyball Championships. And we are already in day three, although this is the first time we're putting Rubisco Philippines on the air. Um, Rubisco Philippines 0-2 in the standings in case uh, you're just catching up with us. We've lost two matches, one against Iran, one against Uzbekistan. Meantime, as you look at the uh, Rubisco Philippines squad, Al Arabi Sport Club's second match so far in this tournament and Felipe Bandero and company are 1-0 after be beating Diamond Food of Thailand yesterday. Again, these teams will go through a single round robin format before entering the classification matches and the semifinals. So they need to rack up as many wins as they can dahil konti lang din yung game sa elimination round. Al Arabi Sport Club 2 0 in this match so far. Rex Intal seeing action for the first time as well as Isai Marasigan. Still no sign of Nico Almendras. Yep. Only played in set number one. A lot of catching up to do for Rabisco Philippines if we want to extend this match. We're down two sets to nothing. Bobby Borislav, the setter out of uh, Bulgaria, 29 years old, stands six feet, serving for Al Arabi Sport Club. Polvorosa, there's Tintal with a tip. Here comes Faraj against three blockers. It's outside. And again, Rabisco Philippines on the board first. Not that we have two different attackers in the lineup. You have Rex Sintal and Isai Marasiga. And let's check if they can chip in much needed points from the offense to help Joshua Mandal. That's going to be outside. And we talked about these errors. We had plus four. We were plus four in set number two. While Al Arabi Sport Club with five aces in the second set, you know, we sort of, you can say, shot ourselves in the foot, uh, Neil. In both sets, we lost. Let's see if they can do much better here in set number three as uh, Marasigan is blocked at the net. One on one against that player from Al Arabi. No entry for Isai Marasigan. Blocked by Renan Ribeiro. Faraj serving. Sumangid. We haven't seen Marcos, the other libero for the Philippines. 
Uh, tip there by Bandero is good. Every time he goes up for that hit, a soft touch or powerful hit, parang sure point for Al Arabi. For, in their last game, at least, 48% efficiency for Felipe Bandero. For it, sure, it's higher in, yeah. in this game. And again, we mentioned to the viewers, we haven't even seen the best player of Al Arabi, is uh, Konstantin Kupkovic, who uh, in their last game was 73% from the field. And 24 points. 24 points. <laughs> he hasn't even seen a minute, a second of action here as Ribeiro scores against two defenders. I think it's time to close on that down the line hit because we have been yeah. suffering from that same play from Al Arabi, then try to open up that cross court and see if we can actually defend that attack. An awkward play there from Alpha Para. Good coverage against the Bandero attack. Alpha Para was blocked, here comes Marasiga and a push. Bandero with the up. Borislav going to Ribeiro. Ribeiro with a dump. Great save by Alfa Fara. Tintal almost got it. Free ball for Rabisco Philippines. Alfa Fara against three blockers. It goes outside. Alfa Fara. Rabisco scores just their second point of set number three. Good enough. They got that. They were a bit disorganized getting that free ball. But Alfa Fara utilizing the hands of the triple block. One of the longest rallies so far in the match. Rabisco Philippines coming out on top. Omar Hicham on your screens. Right now, Rex Intal. Place for the Signal HD Spikers. Actually, three out of the four new players for this Rabisco team are coming from the Signal HD Spikers. Ribeiro scoring. When Ribeiro is against a single block, he always goes to that cross-court yeah, hit. That's right. But when he has a double or triple man block in front of him, he goes down the line. So yun yung mga tendencies din na kailangan pag-usapan ng mga that's defenders right. natin on the court. Single hand set there for Bugawan from Polvorosa. Bandero off the set by the middle blocker, Chigbo. Can you believe that? What more can we say about <laughs> Overpowering the blockers of your disco Philippines. And a different Al Arabi Sport Club here in set number three. Trying to pull away as early as the first part of the set. Hisham serving. Ace for Omar Hisham. Same target. They've been going to our wing spikers, Al Fafara and Umandal to take them out of the system. It, it has been working for Al Arabi. An early five-point lead for the men in white. Oh, another ace. Back-to-back -back aces for Omar Hisham. And that takes us to our first technical timeout. What a start for Al Arabi. They are up by six. 8-2 against Rubisco Philippines in the third set. More aggressive start for Felipe Bandero and the rest of Al Arabi Sport Club. Have an early six point lead in set number three after winning the first set and the second set, 25 19 and 25 15, respectively. Omar Hisham with back to back service aces. 
Marasigan is denied. No coverage on the back row for the best of Philippines. Kadalasan merong isang tao na iiwan. And that person is called the sweeper to anticipate the check balls or yung mga nabablock. Mm -hmm. So Hisham continues to serve for Al Arabi. Alidas now at seven. Finally, Rubisco Philippines with a kill. They will try to cut down that six point lead. Malayo pa naman, it's the race to 25, but they can't afford to add more free points. Isay Marasigan. Borislav goes back row to Faraj. Yes! That tempo from the back row is the same as, uh, as that tempo from the quick hit. Halos! Yeah. <laughs> Juma Faraj showing us his versatility. Just looking at the physique of the players from yeah. Al Arab, you can just sense the power. They give every time they go they, for that attack. They actually look like more like bodybuilders than volleyball <laughs> players. Because of that bulk and heft. And yet, they're very athletic and explosive. So don't be deceived by the way you know, their bodies are built. Another point for Al Arabi as a timeout is well, actually a challenge is called here by Rabisco Philippines, a block touch. Let's see if the... Uh, Call will be overturned and the point taken away. But means the challenge that you use to cut the momentum of your yep. opponent, you already know that it's a correct call. But you just have to leave it alone. John Chigbo on your screen says you take a look at the challenge here. This is way off. Definitely. Not even close. Definitely off the mark. Mark, Al mark Alfafara trying to go for another check ball. Now here's the timeout called by Rubisco Philippines. Well, Coach Dante Alonsinuri and the boys right now and find themselves in a big hole early in set number three. First two sets, medyo maganda, dikit yung simula, but now this is an early eight-point lead to the Qatar club team. So we get egging on his teammates to take it one point at a time. Well, John Chigbo and the rest of Al Arabi, so far so good. They've played near perfect volleyball. JP Bugawa and the rest of the Visco Philippines said they've got their work cut out for them early here. And that's made worse by the fact that it's Felipe Bandero serving for Al Arabi. Well, we all know how good he is so far at getting aces. That's definitely a footfall. No need for a challenge there. Uh, Lions judge called it. Take a look. And the players acknowledge that uh, he really stepped on the line. Bonus point for Rubisco Philippines. Rubisco gets a freebie. Let's see if they can mount a run off that. Four serving 11. Mark Alfafara on your screens. Good received by Ribeiro. Back row attack by Faraj is good. Wow, Faraj. Couple, at least a couple of points from that area here in set number three, Neil. Faraj heating up from that back row attack. Looks like he's really comfortable since a uh, uh, fight hit. Parang wala pa rin talaga ako nakikita ang combination play dito yeah. sa Al Arabi. It's all about um, excellent timing and utilizing the decoys. Speaking of combination, Umandal on the tail end of that. 
Rome and are continuing to fight for the cause of Rubisco Philippines. He's up against a single blocker. Pwede mo rin ilista as an automatic point for Rubisco Philippines. But they've got to string up a series of points as Bojan Duki is back in the game. Five serving 12. This time it's uh, Chigbo from the middle. <laughs> when I saw that quick hit, that approach, alam ko na automatic. That would be a point for Al Arabi. I mean, their timing, their reception is right now as good as it gets. And itong Al Arabi, sila try isa sa mga mas malakas na teams in this specific pool. Yeah. One of the front runners, I must say. As Umandal gets help from the tape of the net. But our, the points of Rubisco Philippines are few and far between. Based on my unofficial count, I think Jao Umandal is, on, is the only player who has stepped on uh, double digits for this specific match. Pulvorosa serving. We have to say, we haven't seen Nico Almendras as uh, Hisham scores for Al Arabi. And we mention that because Almendras is coming off a 14 point performance against AGMK of Uzbekistan. So just the second leading scorer of Rabisco Philippines I do after Umandal. I do agree. He had a total of 20 points combined in their first two games 14 on the second one and six on the first one. And still on the bench, but looks like Coach Dante has a different take on this ball game. Kaya ganito yung rotation niya. Block of the set from PLDT home, off the hands of Felipe Bandero. And it looks like that ball didn't even go over. Nine point lead, biggest for Al Arabi here in set number three. There's a point from Rex Intal. Maganda for Ishpol Barasa. Your spiker didn't get the point the first time. Give him another chance na makabawi, to regain that confidence. Now they're still down by uh, eight points. Good serve that time around from Joshua Umandal. contributing to all aspects in this ball game. Just imagine if he can polish yeah. yung service reception and digging niya. Sobrang lakas nito ni Jao Mandal in the coming years. He's just 22 years mm -hmm. old. Stand 6-2. Plays for PLDT. But his love sets it up. And right now, Al Arabi scores from wherever they want to. Faraj, take another look. Excellent receive. Borislav sends it to Faraj down the line. And it's a 16 8 advantage. Al Arabi takes us to our second technical timeout. Eight-point lead for Al Arabi Sport Club against Rubisco Philippines in set number three. And right now, Rubisco down two sets to nothing, losing 25-19, 25-15. But they get a free point here off the service error by team captain Juma Faraj of Al Arabi Sport Club. 
if we can get a couple of players papunta dun sa double digit scoring mark, I think mas maganda yung laban ng Rebisco Philippines. Well, we've got a long fight ahead of us. If they plan to extend this match, Marasigan with a solo block against uh, Bojan Duki. That ought to lift their spirits. Two straight points for Rebisco Philippines. Great timing, one on one against Duki. That's Isai Marasigan's first point of the match, if I'm not mistaken. Love sending it to Duki. Off speed is good for Bojan Duki. Alfafara was almost there. When you're going for that coverage, you really have to commit to it. Mukhang nagkalituhan sila ni Ishpol Barosa kung sinong kukuha niyan. Omar Hisham serving for Al Arabi Sport Club. 17-10 Set number three, Bugawan gets it through, and that's a point for Rebisco Philippines. Rebisco still fighting back now. It seems like they're just enjoying the game, celebrating every point. Well, if the Philippines can't cut this deficit, any closer, this might, this might, at least set, might be a foregone conclusion in the match as well. Jesse Lopez serving for Rebisco. John Chigbo with a point. Double substitution for the side of uh, Rebisco. We have uh, John Victor Guzman and Jesse Lopez in to replace Marasigan and Paul Vorosa. But Chigbo has plans to end this early yep. for Al Arabi. Seven points away from getting their second consecutive win in our ABC. And our best player of the game from PLDT home, Felipe Bandero of Al Arabi Sport Club. Solid block against the Guzman as Al Arabi pulling away here. Block going to be credited to Bobby Borislav. The setter. 19 serving 11. Football. Going to be a football there for Bandero again. They can uh, pull out another challenge card if they want to. And yes, it's difficult. They, they did challenge. But this camera angle that they give us isn't good, but let's see if the review has a better shot of that approach by Felipe Bandero. Bandero is 6'6", so he's a pretty big dude. 33 years old. It takes years of training and experience in international games to master that approach on the jump serve. If the challenge is successful, the point will go to Rebisco Philippines. But if not, the point will remain to uh, Al Arabi. I think the point was already awarded to us. Hmm. So if the challenge is successful because the, co the referees call the foot fault, then it is yes. a foot fault. <laughs> so it, I think it will stay 19-12. <laughs> Bandero, I don't know if it, it, it wasn't as high definition yeah. as we want to, so but it did seem like the sneaker yeah. cut the line. Yeah. Yeah. It covered a part of the line. Yep. Sobrang konti lang. So the score remains because the point was awarded to us already before the challenge by Al Arabi. So 19 serving, or make that 12 serving 19. And that was an over received. Easily put away there by Rabisco Philippines. Great anticipation on the side of Omandal. Looking at the form of the setter, he knew that he the drop ball. Oh, a 
That's three straight points for Rabisco Philippines. Let's see if they can rattle off a few more. Good serve from Umandal Bandero with an off speed. Umandal against three blockers. Uh, I think it's going to be outside. So point for Al Arabi. I think they're out of challenges already. Am I, cor am I correct? They used two on the footfall. So it's 2013. Bojan Duki serving for Al Arabi. Umandal, that's over received by Al Arabi. Umandal again. Yes! What an amazing performance for Jao Umandal. And using the hands of the setter. Six point game. Borislav sets it to Faraj. Yes. High efficiency for Juma Faraj in today's game. Substitution here as Abdul Al Hiki checks into the game for the first time for Al Arabi. I think he was the player who scored back-to-back -back service aces a while ago against Al Fafara. That's just outside for Al Hitbi. Is down by six points. Malasika and Polvorosa will march back in. Al Arabi four points away from sweeping uh, Rabisco Philippines in their second game of the 2021 AVC. A tip there by Faraj. Faraj will set it up. Bandero. Well, Rosa was right there to pick it up. So Mangid will set it for Umandal. Oh, Umandal can't get it across the net. Alangan eh. <laughs> Lalo na kung galing sa likod yung set. These are the out of system plays. Are more difficult to time. What were our takeaways for Rabisco uh, Neil as they will go down here 0 and 3 after three games in the 2021 ABC? And this is the first time again after. Uh, the hiatus of volleyball in the Philippines to have this kind of exposure against the best club teams in our region. So, dito talaga nila may kita na they still need to have that composure and maturity. They know that they can uh, be at the same level in attacking, but yung mga small details in reception, communication, dun nagkakatalo, tas dun sila bumibita. Well, let's remember, Rubisco Philippines were hastily put together just prior to the tournament. Meanwhile, uh, this team, Al Arabi, has been competing in the Qatari Volleyball League. They were an Asian club champion in 2012, runners-up in 2010, 2015, and 2016, and they were third placers in 07 and 09. So they've been together for quite a while already, this team. And like what we mentioned, this is one of the older teams in the, in the tournament, um, average age of 32, so pretty experienced. And they've got a lot of chemistry playing, two years of playing together. I do agree. And simula ng July pa lang nag-prepare the Bisco Philippines. But again, in the upcoming international tournaments, expect to see a tighter team, a more experienced team. And look at that. The Bisco Philippines winning that long rally with an emphatic back row attack from Jao Mandal. And it was Umandal with a receive off the Bandero attack, and yet he was the one who finished it. Very promising young talent, very promising team. Obviously, they've got a lot of work cut out for them moving forward. 
Bandero gets a point. And Al Arabi, two points away from wrapping up this match. Few points away from getting their second win in, the, in this ABC conference. Juma Faraj, excellent performance today. Back row again for Umandal. The tip is good. One of the rare times we catch the defense of Al Arabi napping. They're slowly uh, cutting that lead of Al Arabi. Now it's down to five. We have to play flawless volleyball from here on out if we want to get at least a tiebreaker for this set. Al Arabi led by as many as nine points. Felipe Bandero. That's going to be six match points for Al Arabi. Basic for Bandero. Up high, down hard. Now it's match point for Al Arabi. Omar Hisham serving. Polvorosa setting it up. Back to attack for Umandan. Not just yet. Says Jao. One match point save. But five more to go for Al Arabi. It's not over till it's over, says Josh Umandal. Continuing to build up on his points. Now tall order for the Bisco Philippines. Gotta defend here. Warislav setting up. Hisham, uh, Omar Hisham. Sorry, no, that's Al Hitti. With the finish, Abdul Al Hitti of Al Arabi Sport Club. And it's a sweep for Qatari team against Philippines. Rubisco, as you take a look at the final tally 25 19, 25 15, and 25 19. Another straight set victory for the powerhouse team in Al Arabi. They go up 2 to 0, while the Rubisco Philippines will slide to 0 and 3. Great performance by Al Arabi's sport club. As they go undefeated, meanwhile, so far, Abisco Philippines only winning one set in the tournament. They've dropped three matches in a row. Their only set was against AGMK of Uzbekistan. If you take a look at the highlights of the entire match, let's recall Al Arabi, the taller team, average height of 6'4. Uh, Philippines, obviously, the much younger team compared to Al Arabi. And that's one of our, I guess, uh, strong points is the youth of this team. I would have to agree, clearly the experience of this Qatar team uh, played a very huge factor in their victory today. Aside from that, um, masyado lang talaga naging loose yung reception ng Rebesco Philippines. But moving forward, again, maganda pa rin yung pinakita ng Rebesco Philippines. And in the future coming tournaments, we, we are sticking to the same roster. Konting dagdag na lang mm -hmm. ng mga players na wala. But we the... mentioned some of the players who are not in the lineup of Rubisco Philippines. Yes, we have Brian Bagunas, uh, Mark Espejo, some players from the Philippine Navy. Pag nagsikompletuhan na tayo, I know that we will put up a better fight against powerhouse teams in this region. As you see, uh, so many players actively uh, participating in the offense, especially uh, Felipe Bandero, Renan Ribeiro, Juma Faraj, meanwhile Josh Umandal, like what you mentioned earlier, Neil, could be the only Philippine player in double digits. Spectacular uh, play for the young man, one of the youngest players for Rubisco Philippines. But uh, this tournament is not yet over for Rubisco Philippines. They still have another game against Diamond Food Thailand tomorrow as Al Arabi will still continue to push their winning ways in this single round robin format. The game will be tomorrow. Um, Rubisco Philippines versus Diamond Food of Thailand at 4.30 p.m. So catch uh, that uh, only here on One Sports and One Sports Plus as you see some of the highlights still of this three-set win by Rubisco Philippines versus Al Arabi of uh, Qatar.
For Neil Flores, I'm Eric Tiban. Thank you for watching our coverage of the 2021 Asian Men's Volleyball Championship on One Sports and One Sports Plus.